hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is moyo and today i'm going to be showing you how i made this dress the front has buttons and it looks like i buttoned it but no i didn't button it the buttons are actually tacked down so if you want to see how i made this dress please make sure you watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram to see how i wear my dresses without any further ado let's get into it I folded about 1.5 of my paper and I will label it my seam and button allowance. Next, I'm going to draw a straight line and label that my waist. I want my shoulder to waist to be 16 and I'm going to place 15.5 on my waistline and I will take my shoulder to hip to be 26. Then I'm going to label it. Now let's take our horizontal measurements. My round waist divided by 4 is 7, so I will mark 7 on the waistline. I will take my round hip divided by 4 on my hip line, that is 9.75. I will add about 2 inches to what I have on the hip line to make it 11.75. And I'm just going to take that on the hem line of my skirt, then I'm going to connect the points. I will add the allowance of 1.5 on all sides of the skirt, then I will connect the points and then we cut. So I opened up the fold I have and from the fold I'm going to mark 1.5 on different points of the waist area. Then I'm going to move to the hemline of my skirt and I'm going to mark 1.5 on different points from that same fold. Once I'm done, I'm going to connect my points with the ruler. So guys, this method that we are doing is called slash and spread. Now it's time for us to slash our skirt. And when you are slashing, that's your cutting. You don't cut through. You cut to a point that is almost the top of your, you know, waistline. But you don't cut it completely. Then I'm just going to do that on all the lines that, we've ha that we have. The fabric I'll be using for this project is 2 and a half yards. And it is by 60 so if you're a size 10 down, then you can use two and a half. But if you're bigger, then please use three yards or more, depending on how wide you want your slash to be. So all I did was to fold my two, two and a half yards into four. I didn't use the 60 length. I used the two and a half yards length. So I folded it into four. But the only problem I have why my dress is not free enough is because there is a joining from the factory. So that's why I have this excess. When you're doing your own, make sure that your two and a half is together so that you can get the maximum um what's it called flay out of your dress so i folded the portion that i have available into four like you can see and i placed my slashed skirt in on it also guys because of the style that we're doing you want to open up that 1.5 allowance don't say you're cutting the back separately or you're cutting the front separately you're cutting both the back and the front together that is why I folded my fabric into four okay so you are folding into four and then you are opening up your 1.5 allowance so i spread my paper based on how much fabric i have but if you want more flay then you can use more material okay so i'm just going to use my paper tape to secure the paper to the fabric because the paper is moving too much and i want some level of security so i'm just going to cut my paper tape and i'm going to secure that then once I'm done, I am going to cut out. Now I'm done cutting. Remember that I cut the back and front together. So I'm going to use my chalk to mark on the wrong side of my project. Then I'm going to separate one piece from the other. And I'm going to slash open the center back and that will be for my center back piece so I just slashed one part like you can see then I'm going to put the two aside 
Now let's cut the top part of our dress. So I folded 1.54 zip and button allowance. Then I assumed my tape is on my shoulder and my dress is an off shoulder dress. So I want how low my dress will be to be 6. So I placed 5.5 on the beginning of my paper. Then I will mark my arm hole points. I'm basically liberated as my, as my chest later, but just know it's my armhole. The way I get my armhole is by taking my actual shoulder measurement, which is 7.5, and then I add 0.5 allowance, that is 8. And I'm also going to get my shoulder to waist, and for this project, I'm using 16. Then I also added 0.5 for allowance, which makes it 16.5. So I drew my horizontal lines, and don't forget, I told you guys that I labeled my armhole as my chest, so put that in mind. So now it's time to take our horizontal measurements, our body measurements. First, I marked my back measurements on my armhole line. And for how wide my neck line is, I use 6. Then I'm going to make a curve. Now I'll take my bust divided by 4. That is 8.75. And then my waist divided by 4 is 7. I added 1 inch for that on my front and back slope and I'm going to connect the points now I'm going to add my sewing allowance which is 1.5 I'm going to add it on the bust and on the waist also I decided to drop my armhole by three quarter of an inch and I connected so now let's cut it out when it's time to cut on your fabric please open up the 1.5 seam allowance and then place your fabric on fold so I'm going to cut our front and back pieces together then I will open one of the pieces and slash one of the pieces for the back of the dress we want to make a little adjustment to our back we are going to come to the bottom of our dress and I'm going to come in by one inch and then I will connect that to a point around my bust point area and then I'm going to cut it out now I'm going to cut lining pieces for both the front and the back pieces that I've just made and then to cut my sleeves I'm using a balloon sleeve and the length is 12 inches and I'm just going to cut the shape of my armhole on the sleeve then I'm also cutting lining pieces for my two sleeves now I have all my pieces and then it's time to sew. I aligned the front and back pieces of my bodies with the lining that I'm using to turn. Then I turned everything off camera with my sewing machine and I also ironed. Remember that it's always important to iron. Now I'm placing the back pieces together and then I'm taking my zip allowance which is one inch and I'm going to take that on different points of my zip allowance area. Then I'm going to connect. For the front, I will notch the center part of the front and I will grab the center front of my skirt that we cut earlier. I'm also going to notch the center as well. Then on my front bodies, I will take 3 inches from the center front and also notch it. And then I will match the center of my skirt with the center of my top. And then I will sew from the first three inch mark to the second three inch mark now i'm done sewing and this is what i have then i'm going to find the midpoint of my dress and i'm going to iron i'm done ironing and this is what i have now remember that we added 1.5 when we were drafting our top and our skirt we will now mark that 1.5 on different points of our project from the folded edge And I'm going to connect to my ruler. You should be careful with the kind of chalk you are using because you don't want to stain your dress. After I was done marking my straight line, I sewed on that line with a straight stitch and this is my result. Now it's time to make my dart. From the center, I'm going to mark 3.5. That is where I want my dart to be. I use scissors to notch on both sides. So I did for this side and the other side as well. Then my shoulder to off shoulder point is now 6. Remember I told you earlier. 
now that I've done it, it is six. I want to measure my dart to start one inch below my bust point. I'm using 10.5 here, and then the wideness of my dart is 0 0.5. I max it right there. Then I'm going to connect that. Then I'll head over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the darts that I've just made. Now that I'm done, I'm going to place my back piece on the front piece. Then I shape the bodies of my projects. And I will also place the back of my skirt on the front. And I'm going to make sure that my actual waist is what I have on the skirt. Then I use my ruler to shape the skirt as well. So what I'm doing on this side is what I'm doing on the other side. Then I went over to the sewing machine to sew both sides of my skirt. Now I'm done sewing. Now I'm just trimming up the excesses on my skirt. And I'm going to put the bodies inside the skirt. Then I'm going to sew round. Obviously, this doesn't affect the mid part of our dress, but then it affects all the other two sides. So I'm just going to secure our top and the skirt. This is my output. Absolutely beautiful. Then I decided to reduce the front armhole. By like 0 0.5 so i just folded the front together and then i cut it out a little then for my sleeves i turned both of the sleeves that i have with lining and then i made channels for my elastic rubber to enter this is the elastic that i'm going to be using i just passed it through the elastic casing that i already made with my machine now i'm just going to fix my sleeves off camera and lastly guys we need buttons so for buttons i asked them to make size 28 cover buttons at the market and then i tacked from the main fabric to the button cover like the flap so we just tack from the main dress to the flap I hope this video was helpful if it was please give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also turn on post notifications to get notified when i post and follow me on instagram to see how i style my dresses i will see you in my next one